question number 24 we are told that trapezium pqrs with the vertices p22 q62 and r64 s28 is mapped onto pqrs prime by a transformation matrix m is equals to minus 1001 find the coordinates of pqrs so we are going to do that part by part uh, we will start with part A. So because we are given the transformation matrix, which is M, and we are given the coordinates of uh, PQRS, uh, what we normally do is we multiply the matrix, that is minus 1, 0, and 0, 1, by the matrix that will be formed uh, by the coordinates of our object, uh, which we are going to say it is 2, 2, that is p we have six two uh, then we have uh, six four uh, then we have two eight uh, you learned how to multiply matrices in form three so minus one times two will be minus two so this is minus two uh, minus one times uh, the other one is uh, minus two plus two times zero is zero so that's why i'm writing minus two so you realize that uh, we are, will be for we will be multiplying the first uh, row by minus one so we have minus six we have minus six and we have minus two uh, the other one is zero times two is zero uh, one times two is two so zero plus two is uh, two uh, the same case you are multiplying the second row by one so it will repeat itself so we have four and we have eight uh, so what it means here this is our p uh, this is our q uh, p q r s and when you multiply by the transformation matrix we we'll get p prime uh, we have q prime uh, we have r prime and finally we have s prime so we can now be able to write the coordinates of p uh, of the image that is p prime is minus 2 2 uh, then we have q prime uh, we have it is uh, minus 6 2 uh, then we have uh, our r prime it is uh, minus 6 uh, 4 and finally we have our s prime uh, which is uh, minus 2 8 so those are the coordinates and by doing that uh, you'll be able to score two marks of section A. So let's go to section B. So we have uh, part B on the grid provided draw PQRS and its image PQRS prime and you get two marks. Because we have the coordinates of PQRS and PQRS prime, uh, I'm going to use a graph paper to draw uh, the two. Uh, so let's get to the graph paper. So this is the grid that I'm going to use for convenience. I have put the points that we need. That is PQRS coordinates and PQRS prime coordinates, uh, which we have worked up in uh, section A. So from there, we are going to label our Cartesian plane. So we we'll take, uh, let's take that is our starting point. So that is our zero. Uh, then we have, this is one, this is two, three four five six seven and eight uh, i think that's okay you can put that is our x-axis we put the negative minus one minus two minus three uh, minus four uh, minus five uh, minus six that's the negative so why is one we have two we have three we have four we have five six uh, seven eight i think that that's okay so this is our this is our y axis uh, we put the negative values we have minus one uh, minus two minus three minus four minus five and we have minus six that's okay so when you are plotting always use in a, especially in an exam always use an uh, a, a pencil so that when you make a mistake you can be able to correct because 
there is no other graph that will be provided. The graph is normally on the question paper which you are using to answer. So let's uh, plot our object. Uh, this is a PQR. So the, the, the position of P is 2, 2. Uh, this is where we have our P. That is our P. Our Q is 6, 2. Uh, so this is the position 6, 2. Uh, rather, we are supposed to write uh, the, the point, not the coordinates. So this is where we write our Q. Uh, we have our R, which is 6, 4. So we move to where we have 6, 4. So this is our PQR, and S is at 2, 8. Uh, that is 2, 8. Uh, is that position so that is where we have our s so with the ruler uh, you join the four points you come up with the trapezium so this is our trapezium pqrs uh, and again we brought the uh, the diagram the image pqrs plane. so we have our p prime p prime is at uh, minus two two uh, so this is where you find our p our p prime that is our p prime our q prime is minus 6 2 minus 6 2 that will be minus 2 6 p that is p q our r is at uh, minus 6 4 so this is uh, minus 6 4 uh, that is our r uh, this is a uh, prime don't forget that although i have used a different color and our s is at minus 2 8 minus 2 8 is there so this is our s prime so we join the four points to come up with the image so that is our pqr s prime our image after the transformation matrix which we were given uh, so that is how you do that so let's go back to the question and see what we are supposed to answer next so part c we are told roman number one pqrs double prime the image of pqrs prime under the transformation pq uh, under the transformation n matrix minus a half zero uh, zero minus a half uh, so we, we are supposed to multiply this matrix n by the matrix that will be formed will form by the coordinates of pqrs so that we get the coordinates of pqrs double prime just like we have done with part b part a okay part b we have already plotted our diagram so we are now at c roman number one so what we do is we write the matrix a half a zero a zero minus a half and normally a matrix that contains some values which are zero are easy to multiply so this is a matrix that uh, which is formed by the coordinates of pqrs prime uh, single prime so we have minus two we have two we have minus six we have two we have minus six we have four we have minus two and we have eight uh, so when you multiply this uh, it will be minus a half multiplied by minus two that will give you minus one uh, minus because zero when you multiply zero by two is zero so we are just ju we just deal with minus a half uh, minus a half times minus uh, uh, I think the first one because we are multiplying negative and negative we should get uh, we are supposed to get positive one the other one is minus a half times minus six that will give us um positive three the other one is positive three and the other one is one so those are the that's the first row uh the other one is uh, zero multiplied by minus two is zero a half minus a half times two that will give us minus a one the other one is also minus one you know how to multiply the matrix the other one is minus two and the other one is minus four uh so we can say uh, remember uh, this is p prime this is q prime this is r prime and this is s prime so now this is a, the the r double prime uh, this is q double prime uh, pq r double prime and s double prime so we can get the coordinates of p double prime will be one and uh, minus one 
we get the coordinates of uh, p uh, q double prime that will give us 3 and minus 1 uh, this is r and uh, uh, 3 and minus 2 and we have s which is uh, 1 and minus 4 uh, so that is how you get uh, the coordinates uh, so we find that uh, we have on that gr same grid uh, draw uh, draw uh, PQR say S double prime. So now that we have the coordinates of our second image, we we'll go back to our grid which we had drawn PQR S and PQR S pr prime uh, to draw the second image. That is PQR S double prime. So back to our grid, uh, we have uh, our two figures here. And uh, for convenience, I've already inserted the, coordin the coordinates of uh, that image so that we'll be able to get them here. So we have P prime, double prime, is at 1 minus 1. So that is where we have our P double prime. Our Q double prime is uh, 3 minus 1. So we have 3 minus 1. So this is our Q. Our our r is 3 minus 2 uh, that is uh, 3 minus 2 so that is our r uh, this is double prime and our s is at 2 minus 4 2 minus 4 is there so this is our r so we have now uh, we have identified the four points so what we do is to join them and come up with our second image so this is our image our image the second image pqrs double prime that is the way it will look like uh, if you do it uh, properly so there you score marks for that so we go back to the question find what is next so part d of this question we are told Loma number one, find a single matrix that math pq R S double prime on to P Q R S single prime. Uh, this matrix is uh, then because the matrix uh, uh, minus a half zero and zero minus a half is a matrix that transformed uh, P Q R S single prime on to P Q R S double prime. What actually you are being asked here is to get the inverse. That is n inverse. Uh, is equals to what? That is a matrix that uh, will take back PQRS double prime onto uh, PQRS single prime. How do we get the, 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 the inverse of a matrix? We start by getting the determinant. The determinant is a product of the uh, elements of the main diagonal. So elements of the main diagonal is minus a half multiplied by minus a half minus the product of the other diagonal which is 0 0 and that will give us 0 so the the a half minus a half multiplied by minus a half is actually 1 over 4 a quarter then what we do once you get the the, the determinant we say the inverse of n is equals to 1 divided by the determinant which is 1 over 4 uh, then we interchange the elements of the main diagonal, which is minus a half and a half. Because they are the same, uh, they will remain the same. So this will also be minus a half. Uh, then we introduce a negative sign to the other diagonal. And because of the, the values of the other diagonal are zero, even when you multiply by minus one, that will remain the same. So you find that uh, one divided by a quarter is four. Uh, then you have uh, minus a half uh, zero and zero uh, minus a half so when you open the bracket this is an equals two uh, then you get our inverse of n is uh, this will be uh, minus two uh, four times zero is zero uh, then four times zero is zero and four times minus a half is minus two so that is the n inverse and when you do that uh, you get two marks Finally, we look at uh, uh, part two of part D, uh, Roman number two of D. Describe fully the transformation that maps PQRS double prime onto PQRS single primes. So, for us to be able to do that, we we'll need to go and see, observe our diagrams. That is the first, the object, and the first two 
uh, images, uh, then we can be able to see what kind of transformation uh, has taken place. So in part B, we are required to find the transformation, single transformation, that map P, Q, R, S, double prime, onto uh, P, uh, Q, R, S, a uh, single prime. So the matrix that to map uh, this object here onto this one. So if you observe here, you look at uh, uh, PQR a single prime is twice large uh, than uh, the the PQR s double prime uh, so we can say it is an enlargement uh, you can draw a line from P to P and uh, you s and uh, from Q to Q and and uh, you join the points and you see what happens so let's see, do that so that is the line from P to P, P double prime to P single. That is another line from C, uh, Q double prime to Q single prime. And that's a line from S single prime to S double. So you can see clearly uh, it is an enlargement. Uh, so the scale factor, we say in terms of uh, enlargement, what we normally say is that uh, we describe uh, the enlarged scale factor looking at this uh, the scale factor here is uh, actually uh, so we have uh, the scale factor is equals to 2 is equals to 2 but because it is on the other side of the uh, center of uh, enlargement we say it is minus 2 minus implying that it is on the other side opposite side of to the center of enlargement and then the other thing that we describe is the center of uh, i'll just use the short form of uh, enlargement uh, the center of enlargement is uh, the origin which is zero zero so that is so a single transformation uh, which you can say it is uh, so you i uh, think we, we are supposed to write here uh, enlargement It is good you write that. It is an enlargement. Scale factor is minus 2. Uh, that is, it is double, but on the opposite side of the center of enlargement, the center of enlargement is 0, 0. That's how you do that question. A uh, very good question which you can be able to score a uh, full mark if only the, you are careful. And uh, because here, on, all what you are required to do is, do you know how to multiply uh, matrices. Do you know how to plot fi uh, di uh, figures, plane figures on the Cartesian plane? Do you know the properties of enlargement? Simple as that and you score 10 marks. So that's the end of that question.